Welcome to Whatever Happened to Pizza at McDonald's, the investigative journalism program where I ask the question, Whatever Happened to the Pizza at McDonald's? I'm your host, Brian Thompson. Today, I come to you with sad news. Just a few short days ago, as of this recording, the McDonald's Corporation announced the removal of three items from its McCafe Bakery all-day breakfast menu. These items are as follows. Blueberry muffin, apple fritter, simnimnin roll, sim, simnimnin roll, simnin, simnimnin, simnin, cinnamon roll. My apologies, I have some difficulty pronouncing that word. The McCafe line of breakfast offerings was first offered several years ago and originally focused exclusively on offering offerings solely within the coffee beverage category. As with McDonald's Pizza, which longtime listeners know was one of the chain's most popular and beloved items until it was mysteriously removed from the menu in the early to mid 1990s, McCafe coffee beverages were a response to gains enjoyed by McDonald's competition. In the heyday of McDonald's pizza, this competition came from fast food pizza chains such as Domino's and Pizza Hut, which consumers identified as dinner destinations much more so than McDonald's. Similarly, the past several years have seen fast food breakfast business shifting to coffee chains such as Starbucks. Realizing correctly that they could just as easily brew bad coffee, McDonald's forced its franchise owners to purchase expensive espresso machines. They even devoted company resources to extensive coffee training boot camps for store managers, where, among other things, they learned that the word is not actually pronounced espresso. The McCafe initiative was a great financial success. But there was one problem. Customers might be flocking to McDonald's in droves to purchase bad coffee, but the beverage business was not accompanied by any food most breakfast-goers desired to eat. The Egg McMuffin had fallen from grace after it was revealed the egg slabs were actually discs of white-colored gelatin with a yellow circle drawn on top in highlighter pen. And McDonald's famous hamburgers were not available in the mornings, as it takes their suppliers almost half a day to squash all that sawdust and pink slime through their patty extruders. All of this changed with the introduction of the McCafe bakery items, blueberry muffin, apple fritter, simnimnon roll. Unlike Egg McMuffins or slimy sawdust burgers, these items were relatively difficult to S-word up, and quickly became quite popular among both early risers and late lowerers. Which is why it is somewhat baffling to learn this week that McDonald's is removing them from the menu at all locations by the end of July 2023. Some may say, in reference to the McDonald's pizza situation, that this is history repeating itself. To that I would answer, please, give me a break. Many people enjoyed the McCafe bakery, but only a fool, or a liar, or someone who is honestly mistaken could claim consumer enthusiasm for these goods in any way rivaled pizzas. That important note noted, however, it occurs to me that the demise of the McCafe baked goods in this, our modern era, may prove a valuable focus of study for journalists-slash-scholars such as myself, who have been researching pizza's mysterious removal. The circumstances surrounding the end of the pizza program have been shrouded in the obfuscating metaphorical mists of literal history. But the removal of McCafe bakery items, which of course include blueberry muffin, apple fritter, cinnamon roll, is happening right before our very eyes. So let us set these self-same eyes upon the official statement from McDonald's on the matter. Speaking with press via electronic mail, a McDonald's spokesperson provided the following quote, and I quote, quote, We're always listening to our fans and adjusting our menu based on what they crave. Unquote. The implication here is obvious. McDonald's is trying to convince the public that they do not crave these baked goods. 
while almost certainly a lie of the highest order, I do appreciate the direct communication with the public. Contrast this with their official explanation for the removal of pizza from their menu, which, as far as I have learned, was not, at the time it happened, communicated by an official spokesperson. Today, in order to find any record of this information, one must wade through unprecedented levels of proverbial red tape by logging on to McDonald's.com and using its search feature. You would be forgiven for thinking the best way to find this fanciful excuse is to type the phrase tall tale, but ironically, it can be found simply by typing the word pizza. But the bald facedness of the McCafe bakery cover up on the other figurative hand suggests to me one of two possibilities. Either the McDonald's Corporation, in this golden age of ignorance, believes the average human mind is fertile, metaphorical soil for the planting of such a fantastical confabulation, or they simply believe no one really cares all that much. Perhaps my recording studio is a bit drafty, but I literally shudder to think that either possibility could be true. Regardless, some brave and award-pending journalist needs to have the courage to refuse to take this statement at face value. And though McCafe bakery goods, such as blueberry muffin, apple fritter, simnon roll, are far outside my normal reporting beat of McDonald's pizza and related matters, such as whatever happened to it, I found I had just enough free time to lend my skills to this important task. One such skill is the journalist's art of disguise, which I often have to employ when contacting the McDonald's Corporation directly so as to evade their voice recognition technology. I did so yet again, in my quest to uncover the truth about the McCafe Bakery. Thank you for calling McDonald's U.S. customer care line. Para Español, oprima nueve. Okay, in a few words, tell me why you're calling in today. I was just wondering why y'all got rid of your McCafe baked treats. I'm sorry I didn't understand. You can say things like restaurant feedback, mobile app help, or delivery. Um, restaurant feedback specifically regarding your baked treats. Thank you for that information. Your call will be recorded for training and quality assurance. That's fine. Your call is about your restaurant experience. The recording may be shared with the restaurant operations team. Your call is very important to us and will be answered in the order it was received. Thank you. Thank you for calling me, Donald. My name is Winston. I'm still about collecting your first and last name. Uh, yes, my name is Larry Truck. It's our Kenopi today. Well, I'm a long haul truck driver, and uh, when I'm driving my truck, I like to stop at McDonald's just for a little bit of a, a fuel up, uh, so to speak. And what I particularly enjoy ordering is the baked goods from the McCafe menu. You know, the um, blueberry muffin and the apple fritter and the cinnamon, uh, the cinnamon, the cinnamon. I'm sorry, I have a hard time pronouncing that word. Cinnamon roll? Cinnamon? And anyway, I, 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 I was driving my truck along I-20 between um, Dallas, Texas and Shreveport, Louisiana. I pulled into one of your restaurants and I went to order one of your McCafe baked treats and I was told they'd been pulled from the menu and I was just wondering why. Most of the locations their franchise own, so yeah, that would be something the, uh, the franchise owners would have done. Um, I could send a case over to the franchise owner if you would like and have them contact you back. Well, it's interesting you would say that because I thought the same thing. So I beat on the door of the management office until someone opened it. And I asked him why y'all took this off the menu. And he said it was not his decision. He said it was a national decision. And so I went back to my truck and got on my little laptop computer. I got a little generator in the back of the truck, a little laptop computer, a little twin-size bed. It's real comfortable back there. I got online and I found an article saying, yes, it was true that Y'all have discontinued the McCafe baked treats at all McDonald's. So that's why I was calling. I was just wondering why. I really love those baked treats. 
So we don't have any um any information on that as far as uh, why they took them off the menu. Okay. Were you told not to speak about it or anything like that? Oh no, sir. Oh, okay. It's not like a secret or anything. Yeah, no, sir. If you're so if you're not allowed to speak like freely, you can just say the, uh, yes for no or no for yes. Like, I'm sorry. What did you say? I was saying yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, I can get a case went over to the franchise owner for you if you would like. You well, to contact me back about that. I don't really want to bother him any further. There was a little bit of a an incident there uh, with me banging on the door. Um, I may have. I may have broken it off its hinges and um, had a little bit of a dispute about who was going to pay for it. But, you know, my point of view was I needed answers quickly. And, of course, their point of view was um, I shouldn't have bung I shouldn't have bung so hard. Is that the past tense of bang? I shouldn't have bung so hard. Yes, sir. Right. So, um, well, I guess the, the situation now is, like I said, I'm a long-haul truck driver. I'm often hauling loads. And... When I'm hauling loads, I have to be energized, you know what I mean? I have to be on my toes because there's all sorts of dangers out there on the road. So that's why I like the McCafe baked treats, like the, the blueberry muffin and the apple fritter and the cinnamon and roll, because they were full of sugar and they kept me awake. Now, I was wondering if maybe you had some sort of other suggestion for something I could order that maybe would have the same effect. Some handheld that I could eat while I'm on the road in my truck. Yeah, honestly, so yeah, I wouldn't know. Um, yeah, I would just go off of um, your opinion, yeah, um, as far as the breakfast items. Okay. Well, it doesn't have to be breakfast. It can be any time of day. Like, you know, for example, the other day I was stopped at a Bucky's. I was filling up on some diesel. And these little kids, they come knocking on my truck door, and they're saying, hey, mister, mister, let me have some ice cream. I'm like, ice cream? And then I remembered, I'm a long-haul truck driver. I've been hauling some ice cream for Baskin Robbins, you know, 31 Flavors. And in the back of my truck, I had some flavors of ice cream, not all 31, of course. I had maybe some, you know, some chocolate chip and maybe some cookie dough and I think maybe a few dozen gallons of Rudy Tootie Fresher and Fruity. But those kids, they got noses, I guess, like a bloodhound. So they, they smelled it right through the back of my truck. And they said, Mr. Mr., let me have some ice cream. I said, I'm not an ice cream man. I'm just a long-haul truck driver. I'm just hauling some ice cream. I'm, I can't sell it to you. And they said, well, we, you, we heard the music. You're Ice Cream Man. We heard the music. And I said, I'm not playing any Ice Cream Man music. I was just whistling Pop Goes the Weasel. And they said, well, oh, no. And they got so sad. And so if I wasn't hopped up on sugar, I may have run over one of them on my way out the truck stop. So that's why I have to have some sugary treats on the road. Sorry for the length of my story. Do you, um, do you eat like the... Uh like any of the apple pies or anything like that? Oh, like the hot apple pie? Yeah, yes, sir. I've tried the hot apple pie, but oftentimes when I bite into one end of it, the, the hot apple molten apple liquid, it squirts out the back and lands on my thighs, and it's it's quite uncomfortable. That's why I like the, the baked goods. They were lukewarm. But McDonald's doesn't have anything else yeah, maybe with... Sure, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, I'll for sure uh, yeah, document all that as far as the... Uh, Cinnamon rolls, not being on the menu anymore. Okay. Now, do y'all have anything else with cinnamon in it? Cinnamon in it? Cinnamon in it? Um, yeah, no, sir. Y'all don't have any other questions. I don't believe so. I believe yeah, the closest thing I would say would be like, you know, like the apple pies. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, sir. I don't believe so. Okay. Well, maybe I'll just, maybe up from now on, I'll just order the apple pie. Maybe I'll just. Maybe balance a bucket in my lap and maybe eat it over a bucket. Yeah, um, yeah, ninety-five percent of the locations they are franchise owned. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, while you're on the road, you might come across a McDonald's um, that might have um, certain breakfast options that other ones don't. Yeah, just depending on um, where you're at. Sure, I like definitely, that. I definitely understand. So, well, despite the the article I read about how it was removed from the menu nationwide and. And the fact that you're being a little bit cagey about that, well, I guess I'll just stop at every single McDonald's I come across on I-20 between Dallas, Texas, and Shreveport, Louisiana. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, um, thank you uh, for your help. And, of course, if you want to pass this up to the, the higher brass, please feel free to do so. You can just say it came from Larry Truck. I've called before. They they probably know who I am. Okay, yes, sir. No problem. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, get 
this soon over. And I do appreciate you for coming to today, McDonald's as well. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night, okay? Oh, thank you. You too. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye-bye now. Tomorrow, in part two of this special two-part report, which also happens to be the 300th episode of this program, I go even deeper into the mystery of the McCafe Bakery. Do you know what happened to pizza at McDonald's? Do you remember it? Please send all correspondence to pizza at McDonald's at gmail.com. To support the show, please join my Patreon at patreon.com slash pizza at McD's for exclusive benefits. And for more information, including links to social media, merchandise opportunities, etc., visit pizza at McDonald's.com. Thank you to my invaluable Patreon producers, Dan Dreyer, David Friedman, Grant Bacon, Jacob Ford, Joe Kajic, Kimberly King, Kyle Turok, Nicole Besta, Pam Gabriel, Polly Egan, Wesley, Wesley, Will, Andrew Duffy, Andrew Ahmed Rubin, Billy Jean, Brad Allen Thompson, Gerald Lewis, Jay Poop, Calvin Thomas, Can You Fly Bobby, Laurel Paul, Mel, Mitchell Cordick, Opus Moreshi, Paul Fu, and Ryan Guggenmoss. I'm Brian Thompson, investigative journalist. <laughs>